So are you on a low fat diet because you've got a high cholesterol? You might be doing more harm than good by sticking to a low fat diet. Let me explain and I'll share five things most people don't realize are messing with their cholesterol. Number one, eating a low fat diet. Number two, insulin resistance. Number three, the menopause. Number four, weight gain, especially around the belly. And number five, poor sleep. So let me break it down for you. Number one, You've probably been told to eat a low fat diet, but what happens when you cut out all the fats is that you're often replacing them with more sugar or refined carbs, which actually spikes your blood sugar and your insulin, leading to higher triglycerides and LDL cholesterol. Plus, your body needs healthy fats like olive oil, nuts, seeds, and oily fish to support hormone production, brain health, and cholesterol balance. Number two, insulin resistance. So when your cells stop responding properly to insulin, sugar actually builds up in your blood and your liver starts pumping out more cholesterol and triglycerides. So you might not even know you have a high cholesterol until it shows up in your blood test. Number three is the menopause. So during the menopause, estrogen actually drops and that naturally affects your cholesterol. LDL often goes up and your HDL, which is your protective cholesterol, can actually dip down. You might actually get a fluctuation in your cholesterol results going up and down through the perimenopause and the menopause. You might be doing everything right, but you still see changes in your numbers. Number four is weight gain around your belly. Now that's a stubborn weight around your middle. It's not just about appearance, it's actually visceral fat below your muscle that actually triggers inflammation and metabolic dysfunction, which in turn impacts how your body processes cholesterol and fats because of course your liver is under strain. And number five, which you might not know about, is actually poor sleep. Even one or two nights of bad sleep can raise your cortisol and affect your insulin sensitivity. So quality sleep and keeping your stress levels under control is just as important as watching what you're eating. So if you're frustrated with high cholesterol and you're already watching your fat intake, it might be time to look a little bit deeper. My name's Anita, I'm a qualified functional nutritionist and I, and I help people reset their cholesterol naturally by focusing on the root causes, not just the restrictions. So follow for more tips that actually work long term. And of course, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments.